Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at our Druid Staff and Great Curse Staff combo yet again. Uh, this will be our second episode of this. We may have a third, but after that we will be changing it up and trying something new. This Hellgate build is absolutely devastating like I said in the previous episode. It's just so strong. So if you take a look at the Experts Great Staff, uh, Great Curse Staff, you can see what each of them does. This is the one we'll be running here. Place the vial on the vial curse on the target dealing 51 damage every two seconds and it stacks up to four times this is the skill you'd be using for pve as it's an automatic i mean they're standing still so it's an automatic hit in and out and it'll apply two stacks to everything in the area so you can actually get applied uh you can apply your stacks much faster here uh you're going to want to go grudge your normal attacks uh basically do damage over time yet again um, so you're basically going to be putting a lot of damage over time on the enemies and that's how you're going to get the kills. I like to go Furious. You could also go Bane if you'd like on the uh, passive. Uh, the Boots, I would like to go Giant. It keeps you alive a lot faster. You don't really need Ghost or any of these sprinting and Hellgates. You're basically fighting and you're there to fight. So Giant is very strong. Uh, I go Purging Shield on my Mage Robe. And I will go Aggression for the crazy amount of damage and heal power. Uh, poison on the Mage Cow. And beware, I am going a, a pretty weak build. Uh, not weak build, but I am going weak gear, not weak build. This build is very, very strong. And I am just going a normal cape. I have, you know, explored with, you know, uh, Martlock capes and everything. I've tried a bunch of different capes. Uh, I haven't really lost with this build without, you know, with with a good cape or without a good cape it really doesn't matter what I run is what I'm figuring out because this build is that strong so um, in these videos you'll probably see me running different build uh, different you know item qualities but this this is definitely one you can win with uh, obviously the poison pot and the beef stew is what I like to go um, and this will be the great cursed build and I'll go over real quick I don't have the passives and abilities um, on Alf's build but I do know he runs a Druidic Staff, Mist Collar Offhand, Fiend Robe, Mercenary Hood, Guardian Boots, and a Limb Hurst Cape. So that is what he runs. Uh, and his healing is ridiculous. Um, it keeps us alive pretty much no matter what, as long as we don't mess up in some way. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to bring Siphoned Energy. I don't know why I don't have a Siphoned Energy on me, but you're going to want to bring a Siphoned Energy with you. Um, so that would be my build right now for the Hellgates and we'll get started with some clips and I think we're going to talk our way through some of these. We're going to commentate what happens and how we could have played it better or how they could have played it better or what, why we won the fight, uh, you know what I mean? So we're going to be taking a look at some of these clips and we'll kind of go through them a little bit as I was requested to do that last episode and I would like to guys, I'd like to hear if you guys like that better than the previous episode with no talking. Um, and just kind of a montage style. So just let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button if you guys like it. All right, so here we are with the first clip. Uh, we're kind of just checking them out, see what they go on first. Uh, we're going to be focusing the damage as always. We always focus the damage with this build. Um, we kind of have them split up right now. Alf's going to fear that guy away, going to take him out of the fight, take the healer out of the fight. We're going to get a lot of damage down on this guy. Um, it's going to be hard to heal all this back for him. Um, and they're able to get a lot of it healed back, but it should not be a problem. Alf's probably going to do the Nether Fear in the middle of them as they have a big open width between them. Uh, he's going to be able to run in between most likely and get the Fear if we even need it. It looks like we're getting enough damage and he's going to be dead as he's running away from the healer for some reason. Uh, you never want to run too far away from your healer. I'd rather risk taking the damage because you're not going to live that over time. Uh, this is just the speed up of us chasing down this guy, making sure you guys know he didn't get the hell out of here. Uh, he... he commented saying you'll never catch me sort of deal so you know when they do that you got to show them getting killed um but in you know in the future i'll probably just get that first kill and if the next one takes a little bit i might not show it if it's nothing too crazy uh so right here we got another damage dealer and maybe a double damage just looks like so i start on the back curse guy as alf splits him up yet again with a fear fiendish robe fear is just absolutely strong in hellgates I, there's no reason not to have somebody running it uh, your healer running it is definitely ideal. Uh, I throw a poison on him to make sure he's dead. Uh, he probably already was dead. But we have him split up and now this should be a free kill as we chase this guy down as well. Um, 
he went invis there and we fear him away fear him into the wall get him killed all right so now we're on the next battle we inspect them they're just running the 4.0s uh they do have a fiendish robe i believe so we'll see what happens here as they're going off on alf alf's very good at healing himself and when he goes giant it's just a lot of extra health he has as he splits them up again with a great fear uh, we're getting a lot of damage down right now because of this fear. I'm keeping stacks, and actually the guy ran in there, so he got some of my stacks uh, with my E applying stacks on him. Uh, they're right next to each other. He used a fear. You notice their fear is kind of useless. He just used the fear kind of to get us off of their teammate, which wasn't a big deal. Alf literally just lived there with uh, 4 HP, by the way. I went back in the replay, watched it. He lived with 4 HP in that burst right there that they had, so they actually did almost have him there. Uh, this is a tough fight uh, as he is running a, I believe, a great holy. Um, I believe Sketcher is, or yeah, I believe he is. But we're kind of focusing, or not Sketcher, my bad, Rebel. Uh, but we're kind of focusing Sketcher right now, and it's it's a long fight because they're running something very similar, and they're using a lot of heals, um, and he's running a lot of defensive moves. Um, so we got another good fear here, uh, taking him completely out of the fight. And it gets me a lot of damage down on him. Um, and he's going to die there uh, for a good 15k, 16k fame. So we'll skip the uh, replay on that one. and Or the chase down on that one, I believe. As we are having a fight right here in the middle of this little bridge. Uh, look at that perfect split yet again with the fear. Um, really is the way you win these. Um, and we're going to be able to take these guys out pretty easily um, so I killed one they have kill that one later right there as he gets killed by mobs running away um, now we're looking at uh, a deep melee DPS and a healer uh, they are split up insane right now Alf took the guy freaking across the map it seems like uh, and then we chase this guy down as well as you can see here we kind of just cut to it instead of doing the full fast forward sort of deal so we did get them both and Let's see what we got here. Um, looks like we're going to have a melee DPS coming in hot on us. And I think the other one's going to be a healer. Looks like he's also a druid healer. Um, and Alf's going to focus on trying to get him away. And we're getting a lot of damage down here. As Alf did really well there, he actually pushed the healer away and came back and nudged the DPS the opposite way. So it's perfectly played. We got him and we get this guy as well. Uh, right here, we're going to get a melee DPS and a melee DPS. We're going to get double melee DPS, which usually does not even come close to working. Uh, unfortunately, the meta is kind of stuck in Hellgates. I feel like as you have to go, um, you know, a healer comp or maybe something that bursts. I don't know why this guy brought a tank build. That was kind of rough. Uh, but here we go. We got another fight, and looks like Al's going to be fearing them both. He kind of missed his fear there. He kind of got them both, and he didn't really want them both. Uh, but it should be fine in this situation because they're going double damage and yeah, they're not gonna not gonna stand a chance this time around. Um, so we got both them and we're gonna start on the next fight. The next fight looks like we got a ranger in the backside. We're gonna obviously focus him instantly. Um, we're getting a good amount of damage down. I have no focus on me right now, so I'm just standing still. No, no worry in the world because this is gonna be an easy fight. Uh, he's gonna die in invis form most likely. Yeah, he's dead. And we chase down the last guy and take him out as well. If you guys notice, they are running actually higher gear than us most of the time. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but the gear we're finding and the fame we're getting, you can probably tell that we are actually getting uh, over over geared people, as some people would say. But you know, it's it's really about what you're willing to risk, and I don't think it's a big deal. Um, you know, running higher gear and winning. I mean, you're risking more, uh, and it's it's just fair game. Everyone has everyone goes in knowing they can risk as much as they want. So, I'm I'm perfectly fine with people running T8 in these in these Hellgates, and I'm not going to be flaming them. You know what I mean? Uh, but we got 125k fame for that last one, and that'll probably be it for today's video, guys. Um, I hope you guys like the clips below. Let me know if you guys like the commentary rather than just the music and the clips, and. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit that sub button.